Well, guys, we thought we'd take a second out of our filming today to set Christy and Jones a challenge. We're having a great day down the middle, and I'll, uh, I'll let you know it is pretty solid. So the pressure's on, and we're going to challenge him to catch five F1s in 10 minutes. I think that is a challenge, to be fair. I think that's tough, but... I think if we say like three, it might be Too easy. quite easy if we get a good little run. So we've got to make it five. I'm up against it, but I'm going to give it a go. You're up against it. We're at Partridge Lakes yep. today on Covey 3. Stunning day to be fair. It's starting to be a little bit spring-like, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It was cold this morning, wasn't it? Slow start. And it, as the day's warmed up, it's got better and better. There's a lot of fish there now. So we're hoping we go in and catch five in ten minutes. It has. So yeah. you've got your fishing maggot short. Yeah. I'm going to give you ten minutes. On your marks, get set, go! Right, so I've already put my maggots on, I have to give myself a little bit of a head start to say it's not the easiest of challenges. So, I'll try and get my rig down a little bit quicker than I might usually. Try and make sure I make sure I chuck my maggots a little bit short. There. there we go. He's in. See how quick you can get your first one. If you can get your first one pretty quickly, Settled and easy to catch, but I think now they seem to have gone a little bit harder. Oh, but a little bit harder. And you've hooked a small one just to give you an extra help. Yeah, but try and get it in a little bit quicker. Got to get them in though, haven't you? You got to get them in, them little stockies. I didn't want to, I should have brought that up really, but they <laughs> can come off quietly, them sort of fish. So that's one. That 50. is an F1. F1, 50 yeah. seconds in. The carp count as well, Rob. Yeah, I'll hold carp. I think that, to be honest, I think if you catch a carp, it's going to be a hindrance to you. Yeah, well, I'm not, I'm not trying to catch a carp. I'll make that fight. Yeah. <laughs> Just in case one does come along. Yeah. Well, I think you'll end up playing it for half the time. I've got some, yeah, I've got some reasonable kit on. I shouldn't say too long getting it in. We've had some big F1s today as well, haven't we? Yeah, some belters in there, like... Oh, crackers. The, the fishing partridge. Some of them are old and they're educated. Always play ball, or you know, not for full five hours in a match. When they turn up, and you get them real big, old stamp fish. You can catch a massive weight so quick. Normally, this is the line where they turn up, isn't it? This, this deep water line. Yeah. Where you get them bigger ones. Mm -hmm. there, oh, look, look at that! Didn't want to foul up it, so that first little lift is it come up, is it? Look like it was on. See, you, know, you are just gonna slow me down. two minutes in and potentially two fish, so. But I'm on course, aren't I? You're on course, but I've seen these challenges go quite west yeah, after this. I've had a few challenges go back on, on me. After a two minute start, two fish. Again, not the big F1s that we have had in time, but no, again, I won't mind that. Is that a pound and a quarter? Yeah. Good fishing, it's so nice to have a bit of spring in the air in it. Yeah, there's loads of fish feeding in the rob, it's um, been the same, like western over the weekend where I've been, it's been cold, we've had a lot of snow, but like yesterday still, Matty Dawes had over 100 pounds to win the match. You know, you can tell that even though it's been cold this weekend, the fish are on the feed, they're not, you know, it's not winter mode, it's the, the, the fish want to feed. Very much so. Nice feed. Oh. Come on. Come on. Tell you what, them ducks have had a belly full today, haven't they? Yeah. I think if I fed two pints of maggots today, I reckon at least a pint and three quarters have been ate by the ducks. <gasps> Got a little line Ooh. and empty. I shouldn't strike it then. That's going to be what's going to ruin me challenge. If I start by looking a couple, and it'll settle me peg. Oh, there's a few indications now, aren't there? I think it's to do with what stamp of fish are in your peg. I think when there's a few stockies there, we get a few more of them funny indications. When it's them bigger F1s, they're a bit slower and they just come in and just eat the bait nice and gradually and you get a cleaner bite off them. Them stockies are a bit erratic, they're darting about in your peg eating all the maggots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are just about four minutes in now. Oh, look at that.
Oh, that's a cracker as well. So, am I halfway through? Not even halfway yet. Right, so I'm on, definitely on course then. You're on course. We might have set you two of an easy task here. I don't know, an F1 every two minutes, I'll take that middle of summer, you know? <laughs> yeah. So, obviously this time of day, just as that light starts to go down, they run that shoreline, it's often a bit faster than, you know, early in the day. We have to yeah. are doing the challenge at the right time. If we'd have done this at 10 in the morning, it definitely would have been a hard challenge. But yes, it was very cold this morning, wasn't it? Yeah, minus two this morning, wasn't it? Frosty. It's just too So what's that? You've got three after uh, five minutes. Still not getting complacent. I've got to catch him, Rob. Yeah, you've got to catch two more in five minutes, which is still... Oh. Ooh, we see. That could have even been be a fish starting to come up off the bottom, which, you know, I've got a little shallow rig there for that reason, but I don't think I'm going to... Could be a risky move to pick that up now. Risky, yeah, risky picking <laughs> the shallow rig up now. Oh, this is just beautiful fishing. I might actually do this challenge. Normally, I, I think you might. I fail at the final hurdle, but I do believe I should be able to catch... One more. Oh, I get this one, yeah. If you don't get this one, I think that's when there could be some trouble. Feels a good fish. One of them big silvery newer stockies, but they haven't half grown. And they've put loads of stockies into these lakes here at Partridge. When, when they first went in, obviously they were getting on for a pound. Now they're all pound and a half, aren't they? They're good fish. Oh, they're big. At least pound and a quarter, anyway. Oh, beautiful. It's like brand new silvery stocky, but getting on for two pounds, yeah. tracking fish. It's six minutes and 20 seconds in, Chris. So we've got three minutes and 40. Make one sure, more, one sure. more. Good bait presentation, up, up the maggots on correctly. Yeah. We should be able to nail one. We'll see. Today, they have not. You'd be happy with this kind of finishing a match, wouldn't you? You've got, um, so you're seven and a half minutes in, so you've got two and a half minutes left. Come on, them ducks are just sat there waiting for them maggots, aren't they? So you've got two minutes left, and I'll, let, I'll allow you hooking it. Match rules. Don't let me down now. Oh no, it's, too, it's not looking good. Yeah, it, was going to, it was going all too easy. It was, though. You have been oh oh do this to me. <laughs> if you can get this in you've completed the short maggot catch more challenge
off or not quite done it. Yes! Got it this time. <laughs> Get it. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> about this one but the winning fish the winning fish fantastic well great catch great catch that's you've got 30 seconds left so um we'll call that time you completed the challenge just i think if we if we challenge it to six that could have been a push that i think i think it would have been a push i think i think that was about right the challenge you could have easily gone wrong you know a foul up fish but again that's where trying to control that feeding which is what we've been talking about in the video today really important and it's worked hasn't it so Made up. Yeah, if you want to see how he's actually done it, a bit more into a bit more detail, it's uh, it's be live for channel members in uh, in mid March. So go and check it out. Cheers, Rob.